a novel about this, uh, uh, this, this discovery, this paper that we are about to publish, is that we identified a, uh, a, we identified a method uh, based on starvation, just a brief 48-hour starvation. We identified a method that can protect uh, normal cells and the organism against high-dose chemotherapy, but still allows the chemotherapy to kill uh, cancer cells. And, um, and of course, uh, uh, this, is, uh, this is important because um, one of the major uh, problems with chemotherapy is the toxicity and therefore the side effects. And if, if we can find a way to separate uh, more and more the uh, toxicity to normal cells and cancer cells, now we have a much more powerful strategy uh, to fight cancer. And so uh, this really does not come from oncology, although we do a lot of work on, on cancer, this not, doesn't really come from our work, uh, our, our oncological work comes from our, our gerontological work, and so our work on, on aging, where we really be focusing on, how do you, on techniques on how to protect cells. And so we have some uh, genetic manipulations, for example, that can protect a cell 10,000 times better against chemotherapy and other toxins uh, compared to, uh, to the normal cells. And so we really use this, uh, this understanding of, of aging systems. Uh, and, and at a certain point, a few years ago, I realized that the same genes that were controlling aging were also the ones that are sort of stuck in an mode in, in uh, the majority of cancers. And so then it came to me that if this is, um, if in fact uh, the same, these genes that are stuck on the arm mode are present in all cancer cells, then those cells would be the ones that do not respond to the order to be protected. And that's in fact what we saw, that you start the cells and they, uh, uh, I mean, the, the organism goes into a high protection mode, but the cancer cells fail to enter this high protection mode, and so they continue uh, to be in a pro cell division mode, but also a mode that makes them uh, at least partially or as sensitive uh, to chemotherapy. The, uh, uh, but now we, we really, of course, because of, in many cases the, it's not possible or feasible to do starvation in a cancer patient that are, may already come uh, partially uh, with, with partial weight loss or severe weight loss. So we're now been looking at uh, ways to replace this with uh, a replacement uh, therapy, I mean replacement diet, but also with drugs that target uh, uh, anti-aging pathways and, uh, um, and so now there are very promising results that suggest that we don't really need to use the starvation. We have replacement systems uh, that maybe are as good as the starvation is. Uh, also, uh, now we need to test this in humans, and, uh, and that's going to be uh, particularly challenging to uh, de de define which strategy uh, to follow and then um, hopefully uh, be able to organize a clinical trial uh, looking at uh, um, how some of these systems can protect uh, patients against uh, uh, normal uh, and eventually high-dose chemotherapy of all different types.